Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. I hope you guys are all having a good day. I'm doing fantastic. So guys, yesterday we built this massive add-on. I decided to destroy it. And here's why. It just didn't fit the build that we were doing. You know, the greatest. And so I decided to just change it up a little bit. I do have an idea for something else that I want to build today. And we're going to get right into it because we're not going to waste time. Number of items. Yeah, let's go. Let's uh, factory block. So the uh, the thing that I want to try to build today is going to be a little bit different. By the way, it rains so much in this world. My God, man. Um, so I had this idea last night to possibly build something that kind of curved upwards rather than uh, in a different direction. Rather than like straight or something. Um, so two, let's do two, two, and then let's do um. See, it's gonna be kind of hard to make this because these all need to be connected. Um, because if they're not connected, then we have a problemo, Captano. Is that two? Yeah, that's two. Okay, so then let's go one out. Like that. I'm not sure how this is gonna look when it's finished, though. I'm a little, I'm a little suspect. You know what I'm saying? So there, there, and then what we'll do is we'll raise that up one. That actually is kind of blending the way I want it to. Um, I actually think that this needs to be up another block. You kind of see the curve there. I kind of wanted it to be a hinge. I don't think this is going to work the way I want it to. Um, I was I was kind of hoping that that would like kind of like take the shape that I needed it to, but it's not going to do that. Um, that other add-on that we made though was just way way too big um, for what we needed though. Here, let's get rid of this. All right, so instead. I don't know, I kind of want to do um, something like vertical almost. But to do that, I'm not sure how I would go about doing that because like how this thing is. Um, hmm. Let me let me brainstorm. Okay, guys, I am about to lose my mind with this rain. It never, ever stops. So to fix that, we're going to do something. First off, we're going to we need to make a rain sensor, which is this guy. Pretty simple to do, it seems like. So take that. This will, I'm assuming, emit redstone when it's raining. Let me... Okay. Yeah, so that emits redstone when it's raining. There is another, another wonderful device called a weather controller. And... Since I don't have any of my machines turned on. First off, I need draconium. Let me see if I can find out where I put all my machines. Redstone furnace. There we go. Hopefully this has power. There we go. Get some of that uh, draconium juice in there. Now. Okay, there's the core, weather, and we are just missing an enchant table. Dude. Hate books so much. Books are like the bane of my existence in this pack. There we go. There we go, and weather controller. So I'm not exactly sure how this works, but why you know stop raining? All right, charges. All right, so it needs weather control. Uh, hold on, draconic evolution. Weather controller. Uh, turn rain off. Thunderstorm. Turn rain off. It needs whatever goes in there, which looks like this thing. Um, charges. 
Hold on to Google weather controller draconic. Um, there we go. Weather controller is a block added by Draconic Evolution mod. It can be used to stop rain when it's raining. This device is powered using emeralds. I can do that. Uh, do I even have any emeralds? Oh, wow. I have 375. So. Hmm. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I forgot it did that. I forgot that I do that when I eat. I can eat rain. I love you guys. You are my favorite. Oh my god, that's fantastic. Dude, that's so good. It turns the rain off. I'm just gonna leave it right there for now. Okay, so we we can like control rain at nighttime. I'm kind of like God a little bit over here. I'm just kind of doing my godly thing, like no big deal. Um anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Alright, guys, we gotta figure out this stupid level. <laughs> Not stupid level, but we gotta figure out what we're gonna do about our machines. We gotta get this taken care of. Uh, I'm gonna eat some food. Nom 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 nom. There we go. Now let's grab some factory blocks. I do have an idea. It's gonna be a little bit different though. Instead of making sort of this um, this huge huge walkway, I have a better idea. What I think we're gonna do. Is we'll come out five blocks, three, four, hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's do seven. Do we'll come out seven blocks, just like so. And then what we'll do is we'll make, we're just going to make a smaller circle this time. The smaller circle will work better because it'll have, be able to house less. So, um, let's see, how big should we make this circle? So, one, two, three, four, five. So probably just go two, one, one, two. But I don't want to make this like so big that it's like, um, it's going to be like in the way of anything. So three, four, five, something like that. I think that would be perfect actually. And then, so this thing is going to have sort of a central wiring platform that will um, allow us to run wires up and down it. It's like so. Hmm. I, at first it didn't look like it was right. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Is that correct? I think that's good. Okay, yeah, that, that's actually a pretty good size circle. I think that'll take care of it. So something like that, I think. Let me go grab a wand. Let me go. Crap. Good thing I have a, a beast pickaxe. El Bisto. He's a beast. I love that noise. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so... So we'll do that, then we'll make another floor, but we need to pick a spot. Uh, I'm thinking probably because those, you know, obviously those match sides like that. And same with this one. These are where all of the wires are going to come up and down uh, for power, for AE, things like that. I want to say right here. That gives us plenty of room in the floor, plenty of room uh, to move. Actually, let's um, let's move it. Let's move it out one. Make it right there. So then, what we can do is we'll put an elevator in the middle, and then so this first floor here will just be a platform to get to the other platforms. So. We'll have like uh, ore processing on one floor. The next floor will be like pulverizers and things. And then, you know, we'll split it up to make sure that it's even on top and bottom. 
So they each both have something like this. <laughs> Those are some torches right there. There we go. So I'm going to uh, build this out some more. And when I feel like I have a good setup, I'll come back and we'll start setting things up. All right, guys. So I have built two on each level below and above. We need to grab some elevators. Elevator. 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 There we go. There we go. So then we can go up a floor. Can you one more? No. Okay, fantastic. Then one there. And then this will help us get in between floors. And then the pipes that go up and down on the sides will allow us to um, be able to um, run wires is the point. So um, let's go ahead and start sort of planning what we're going to do here. So... All of our machines are pretty much right here. Grab all of them. So many machines. Okay. So like I said, this first floor here is just a floor that we'll use to get to the other side. Um, I'm thinking that what we'll do is on the bottom floor down here, we'll use the Ender IO stuff. There we go. Uh, there's another one, too, that I need to put down there. Soul binder. The spice and the spice. I can't ever say that word, dude. Uh, let's see if it's in here. I don't know if it's in this one or if I have it somewhere else. But that is definitely a machine that we need. There we go. And remember that these will all have interfaces on top of them. And the cable will be run on the bottom. So, let's see if we land here. It would be kind of cool to probably have a machine here and a machine here. And a machine here. So the cable will come down. Um, we'll have interfaces on top. Hold on, let me go... Uh, I am looking for smart cable because the smart I like the smart cable better Grab some interfaces There's a couple Smart cable there we go so Let's see we would uh, you know interface 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 and then Preferably, I would like to have, you know, four different uh, cables running through this, but I think they would touch because uh, I think the most we can do is separate it by threes, um, which could actually be a problem um, if we think about that, because I don't know if we could get that to run. Yeah, I think one is just going to have more channels than the other. To be honest with you, so we'll have to be careful which one we select for that. But uh, we need to figure out if we're landing here, where would we want the cable to come from? I would probably want it to be like maybe right there, like on the outside of it. It's kind of, you know, it really isn't another point to put it. Something like that, I think the cables come from the walls there. Same with the power. Power and all the conduits will be in the floor. Okay, that works for me. This next level is going to be for processing. Um, so this one's going to be a little bit more tricky. We will need... I'm going to need probably two ender chests. Ender chests. I know I have them here. They might be back in the system already. Yeah, let me... I feel like I have 40 ender chests somewhere. There we go. Okie dokie. So we're right here. So obviously, uh, how did I? I aligned those to be like that. Okay, so up. So I'm thinking, um, 
pulverizer and then pulverizer redstone furnace redstone furnace and then in the floor right there we'll put this and that'll be for anything that might um clog the system up like um cinnabar things like that so these ones will uh, actually uh, have export buses instead go ahead and grab i don't know if i have any in here or not there's two okay so it'll pretty much just be like export bus export bus actually that's wrong export bus and then we'll do the cable on the outside i love this smart cable it is my favorite because not only does it tell you the channels that you're using but it acts as like an me cable too basically then those uh will transfer to the floor um i don't know if that would work or not uh i don't know if we could do in and out through the bottom of those what we might need to do have the con conduit come up through the floor for those so we'll have to work on that one a little bit later i think then right here is the next no okay right here is the next level that i want to work on um so this one is going to be independent processing so just making sure I... so um for example like redstone furnace or redstone furnace um pulverizer pulverizer and then Induction smelter. Something like that, I think, maybe. You. And then... I feel like I need one more... Okay, I say I should add a one more of those. So another induction smelter on that side. Um... You know, just this is how I sort of just want to get them lined up. I think I think I'm actually going to take both of those, put those over here instead. That needs to be lined up with each other, though. So pulverizer, put some furnace pulverizer and then another redstone furnace, something like that for that level. And then the top level here will be for the liquids. Um, there we go. So we'll probably do like fluid transposer, fluid transposer. Um, and then probably magma crucibles on the other side. We'll figure out a way to move the, the fluid if we need to. And then obviously we'll have the interfaces on top and stuff. All right, so before we can like move on to doing anything else, we need to get paint blocks done. These these towers are pretty much gonna be uh, removed for a while. Bat, get out of my way. There we go. Um, We need to put the power source in, which I've grabbed a Tesseract for, so that'll work. I don't want to vein mine anything because I'm afraid they're all factory blocks. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm really nervous. I don't want to like touch it. Okay. Those bats are driving me insane. I guess it's because I don't have any light or something. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, so I'm thinking that the power source will probably be. Like right there. Nailed it. 
All right, so then we can run power off of that. Um, receive, we want to send only. Uh, now we need our paint machine. This guy will need our conduit facade. Uh, do I have a capacitor? Kappa Apado. Don't have one in there. I wonder if I have one. This will make this machine just go so much faster. Probably not. But I saw one in there. Okay, anyways. Capacitor. I'll just grab one of these. Somehow I have 79 of them. I'm not exactly sure how that happened. Uh, paint machine. So there, take that out, take that out, that in, put that in. So it's gonna make those. Uh, that actually cannot take a capacitor. That's kind of dumb. There we go. Uh, I wonder if I can give it another one. I know one of these machines have a capacitor in it. There we go. Let's see if I can give it this guy instead. There we go. So that's going to start making that. Uh, so now we need to get our cable. Um, we are going to need a lot of you. A lot of you. So I'm thinking, let's see. Uh, we're going to need item conduit, power conduit, and dense ME conduit. You, you. Pretty much every conduit that you see, we're going to need. I don't think we'll need, well, we might need fluid conduit. I'm gonna put some of this other stuff up real fast. Um, okay, so let's see what we have for conduit inside of the system. Take all of you, all of you, you, and you. So each Basically, um, I know for a fact that almost every single one of these floors is going to have this. So like I said, we'll probably try to keep uh, these as separated as much as possible because we don't want the channels to get overthrown. Like we don't want a bunch of channels coming into the system. Um, but this is like my life for the next like hour probably is placing cable down. Isn't our world so much more beautiful now that it's not raining 24 seven? But yeah, so we'll do that and then use the factory blocks to hide our goodies. Wow, that's already out of power. I'm assuming that you have to probably run a cable off of that and do it then. Oh, receive power. Sorry, I get that mixed up. My bad. So then I just do that. I wonder if that will make it a continuous texture still. Hey, that looks pretty cool too. And it's all like hidden ninja style. And then, um, once we get down to here, this is where this is gonna be like broken out. And then what I'll probably do. That was what I was afraid of. I did not want to do that. So now I've got to fix my floor. Crap. <laughs> Just more work. God, oh, God damn it. Anyways, I was going to run one cable to here. The middle cable was going to be the back two. And then the front cable was going to be this side. So I kind of split them up a little bit. Just realize we're even out of time. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to do the rest of this off camera uh, for next episode and we will come back and it'll be all beautiful. And uh, so anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Otherwise, I hope you guys all have a great day. This is I, Jevin. Peace out.